Hello everyone, Peaceful here, and welcome back to another magic video. Today, Jumpstart is out on Arena. We are just gonna hop right into it. I've decided it's probably smarter to pay with gems. I mean, let's just do it. Oh. Also, unstable, ooh. Ooh, do we want flyers? I think wizards. Okay. Do we do double wizards or witchcraft and wizardry? Mm. I'm I'm very tempted to do mono blue double wizards. Witchcraft or wizardry? Do we do double wizards? No, witchcraft and wizardry. Wizards, no, I need to rename this. First of all, I need to look at this deck. Oh. Huh. Okay. This is going to be interesting. I'm gonna name this, uh, this is gonna be Hogwarts. I, it's not letting me name it, but this is the Hogwarts deck, Witchcraft and Wizardry. Uh. <clears throat> Yeah, it seems pretty good. All right, so if we, yes, great, awesome. Also, they added the unstable lands and I really want to get them, but they're like pretty expensive, so I need to save up uh, in gems. Um, and yeah, so let's, let, let's see how Hogwarts does. Hogwarts School for Witchcraft and Wizardry. I'm gonna stop saying that now. All right. Uh, I guess this is fine. I'd like some early plays, but ew, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that at all. Oh my god. Uh, I will do a cauldron. Ooh. <clears throat> <clears throat> Next turn, if I don't draw land, I'm probably gonna wing words and then likely kitty. Oh, dragons. No. That's so bad for me. Oh. I mean, I'm really gonna do that. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Uh. If we draw a swamp, we can do uh which of the moors. Oh gosh. We did not. Uh, I guess I'll befuddle on their turn and for now, Cauldron Familiar?
I really don't like our situation here. Um. Yeah. I guess we'll just do this. Uh, I mean, I hate to do that now, but I guess that's really the only way I can survive this turn. Oh. That's exactly what I needed not to happen. But, okay, I suppose we still have a chance here. No, we don't. All right, we're, we're still gonna go till we somehow get two wins with this deck. Still gonna do it. And if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, show some support, liking, subscribing, and if this video reaches five likes, then I will do another jumpstart video with a different deck combination. All right, we are playing Bagok. Bagok? 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 I don't know. There are no low drops in either of these decks. I mean, there are. I'm just not getting them. Ooh. I would have loved the rogue deck. I actually need that card for uh, a standard deck I'm working on. I'm uh, hoping to pick it up in a draft. Oh my god, that's loud. See, now these are the kind of cards that I like. Like, when I think of myself being a Demir player... I'm not as much of a, I'm not as much of a, like, an animation fan, but I love the whole flash, mill, combat trick, because I think in the root of Demir is this sneakiness, and I don't feel like reanimation as much fits with Demir as Orzhov, but I really love the Demir theme of, uh, I really love flash being more in Demir than any other com combination. <clears throat> And even Surveil fits with it, because Demir have information, and they're generally very sneaky. How much- this pump by plus- plus one plus one, okay. So they definitely got the rogue deck. I'm actually gonna do this first. Um, and I'm gonna take, yeah, I'm gonna take the opt. Uh, no tax. Next turn I can hold up a ton of instants. Have lifelink whenever. Ooh. Oh, for goodness sake. Okay. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to bake that. Yeah, I, I think what I'm gonna end up doing is uh, baking the stinger and then swinging with the prowess. I could add on an opt. I'm gonna add on the opt. Why not? <coughs> Actually, don't need that at this point. I will take that though.
Okay, I like I like where this is going. I can't do I, I don't have enough to cast any of my instants, so I'm probably gonna Tolerand. I don't see a point in attacking with the Dowser. Then I'll say you throw a savant. I have enough to cast two spells for turn per turn, so the wizard's retort is fine. <clears throat> I remember I believe uh Befuddle was in uh Dominaria. I've that was uh one of the first sets that I played. Well, not really. That was a year into my playing. I swear, wasn't that card green? Can it like change colors or something? I don't know. Um. Hmm. Tempting, tempting. I think I'm gonna attack. I'll see what they do. I I can do something. I should frost breath actually at this point. I prefer not to befuddle. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think I probably should have chosen double wizards. I'm really liking the wizards cards. I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of the witch deck. Seems like reanimation, life gain, not the biggest fan. Yeah, I don't I don't want that. Okay, I can befuddle one of their blocks, so this will have to do. Because that doesn't have- oh, it does have death- when does that get death touch? What? Oh! I didn't know that. Okay. Oh, okay. In this case, uh, that can happen. Yay! We didn't even use any of the witch cards to really help us, so- I think Double Wizard definitely would have been the way to go, but, eh. Ooh. I don't play Historic, but, <clears throat> I mean, at some point I probably will. Okay, this is fine. I'm pretty sure these arts are new, because, like, these obviously are cards that are new, but... There's, there was some art in Kaladesh that looked exactly like that, I'm sure. So, Rivals of Ixalan was the first set I actually played. Like, when I started Magic, that was the first set that came out after I started. But I actually started by playing uh, with... I learned with Amonkhet and Hour of Devastation cards, and I really thought Kaladesh was a cool set. So, the first cards I actually bought was a Kaladesh bundle. Uh, and I made a infinite Thopter device, which I thought was cool. When it dies. Alright, uh. Yeah, I'm probably gonna do the Malakir Familiar. I'm, I'm not... 100% sure if I'm a fan of the comic book style art that they did for Ikoria. I think it's definitely cool art. I'm just not sure about it in a magic set. Alright. Yep. Oh, I didn't know Magma Jet. I, ju I didn't even realize that was Magma Jet. Wow, okay. Magma Jet's a jump start. And again, say hello to the squeaky chair. Ooh, that can be turned into a pie. I would love to make a Ravager pie. 
Uh, instead, though, Bog Blue Witch will do just fine. It, do we have Bubbling Cauldron in this deck? I mean, if they attack with the Ravager, I can just, uh, block and kill it with the minus four, minus four. Yeah. Okay. I want to see. I'm curious. Ooh. Okay. Oh. That is really good. I really like that. Wow. And I can just keep on doing that. Like, I, I have multiple festering newts. I believe I have two or three, so I can... Wow! So I can kill one of their creatures, they lose four life, and gain four life for one mana and a newt. So two mana, well... But then it's... It's really four mana because of the witch has to tutor for the newt. But still. I'm gonna enter the target for the book first. Ugh. So the question is, am I gonna- I think I'm probably gonna end up using the first trigger on the druid, because that actually takes out two of their creatures, technically. Uh... Yeah. And then we do this. Do I have more than one more festive newt? I don't. Oh. Okay, so. <clears throat> eh. I mean, we can get our second witch combo out. I guess this witch deck is growing on me. <clears throat> yep. Ooh. So now, I think I'd probably rather use the Wishes Cauldron uh, from now on because I draw a card. Okay, so if I have three mana left, I think I'll probably do Tempting Witch. Wait, if all of these cards are in Historic, can I build a Bogru Witch, Bubble and Cauldron, Festering Newt deck in Historic? Because if I can... Ooh, I like that. I, I, I like that a lot. Okay, now I have to do that. It'll literally be this witch deck, but in historic. I have no use for the Bogru witch anymore, I believe. I mean, I have reanimation, but... Ugh, no, I'm not gonna block. I'll just take the damage. Oh. Okay, we're gonna make a, a behemoth pie. Ooh, okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to, as soon as I get another land, I'm gonna do the Witch of the Moors, and then I can sacrifice foods to gain life, and then use that to return my festering newts, and then do the whole bog root. Oh, yes, okay. I just need a land. Seems to be a very common theme in my videos, which is also a part of magic. I think they might be a tree hugger deck? 
possibly? I don't know. Maybe land matters? Plus tree huggers? I don't know what the decks are. Oh, they took away the bog brew witch. That's sad. Oh. Oh well. I, I, I'll just get minus one minus one instead of minus four. Oh, I didn't get a land. Um. I guess I can do that. And then I'll do a frost breath on their turn. I would have expected that sound from Bubbling Cauldron, not Witch's Cauldron. <laughs> I mean, I guess the Witch's Cauldron could also happen to be bubbling. Also, are you saying that this bubbling cauldron isn't a Witch's Cauldron? Because it belongs to the Bog Brew Witch, so... They're both Witch's Cauldrons, and they can both be bubbling cauldrons. Oh! This seems like a good time. Boop. that do uh look at the top card of your library if it's a land Ooh, yes 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 uh, okay next turn we can start doing the fun stuff Actually, as a player who never actually got to play an original Kaladesh, I would love for them to do a return to Kaladesh sometime in the next few years. Because I just think the energy mechanic is so cool. Uh, and so does Mr. Squeaky Chair. Mr. Squeaky Chair 100% agrees. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. That happens on the end step, so... I think we're actually going to use Witch's Cauldron and sacrifice the Witch. Yeah. That might have been a bad decision, but who knows. Uh. Yeah, that was definitely a bad decision. <laughs> so, I will get back a Festering Newt. Oh. Wait, what? Oh. Uh, yeah. I definitely shouldn't have gotten rid of that witch. Yeah, I still have a mana open, so I'm gonna- I'm just gonna do it now, actually. I'm gonna target the Hound. Now at this point we pretty much have the game. We have removal, we have infinite newts. <laughs> oh. Beautiful. We don't have infinite newts, but we get one newt per turn. Yep. Alright, so, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. If this video hits 5 likes again, if it hits 5 likes, I will do another jumpstart video. Uh, besides that, I will see everyone in the next video. And... Emil... A legendary unicorn. Okay, bye.